PPM is another one of the ways that we can measure the concentration of a solution. PPM stands for parts per million and is used to usually measure solutions that are very dilute, meaning they have a very low concentration because we're measuring how many parts of solute there are, there are per million. And the equation to calculate the PPM of a solution, or the concentration of a solution in PPM, is PPM equals mass of solute divided by the mass of solution times 1 million. And the best way to remember this is that 1 million has six zeros. Six zeros. Okay. So let's use that equation in two practice problems. So number one reads, a sample of salt water has 20 grams of salt dissolved in 2,000 grams of solution. What is the concentration of the sample in ppm? So our givens, we have 20 grams of salt, we have 2,000 grams of solution, and we want to know the concentration in ppm. So that's your buzzword, ppm. That tells you, you got to use the equation, ppm equals mass of solute divided by mass of solution. But we don't know our ppm, so I'm just going to write ppm. Now I have to figure out which one of these is my solute, which one of them is a solution. Two ways to think about that. Your solute, remember, is what you have less of. So you can look for the smaller number. The second way to figure it out is just by this keyword here, 2,000 grams of solution. Since that's called the solution, that number needs to go on the bottom. So what we'll have is 20 divided by 2,000 times parts per million, 1 with 6 zeros. So without getting a calculator, what we can do is we can cancel out some zeros. One zero on the top, another down below. Boom, 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 boom. So we're left with 20 times 1,000 divided by 2. So this is the same thing as 20,000 divided by 2, which is 10,000 ppm. Final answer. Number 2 asks, how many grams of CO2 are dissolved in a 400 gram sample of air that has a concentration of 200 ppm? So in this problem, it's asking how many grams of CO2 are dissolved in a 400 gram sample of air that has a concentration of 200 ppm. So in this case, I'm given the ppm. So I'm going to write 200 equals my grams of CO2. That's my unknown, that's my solute, divided by my mass of my solution, which is 400, times 1 million. So another thing to be aware of, the word sample is another word for solution. Okay. So now this is about just doing the math. Well, once again, our zeros cancel here. So I'm left with 200 equals x over 4 times 10,000. Well, 10,000 divided by 4, we can rewrite this as 200 equals x times 2,500, 10,000 divided by 4. So if we divide both sides by 2,500, we'll get a final answer of x equals, divide this side by 2,500, x equals 200 divided by 2,500, which would give you a final answer of 0 0.08. And the units, it's asking for grams. Final answer. Go ahead and try these two problems by yourself by pressing pause at this moment. When you're finished, press play to review the answers. So for number three, we have five grams of salt. We have 1,000 grams of solution. We want to know the PPM. So this is 
five divided by one thousand times one million. Your zeros here cancel. Boom, 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 boom. So you're left with five times a thousand divided by one, which is five thousand p p m. Final answer. Number four, how many grams of CO2 are dissolved in a 300 gram sample of air that has a concentration of 600 ppm? So you're given ppm is 600 equals x over 300 times 1 million. Okay, same idea, cross out my zeros. So I'm left with 600 equals x over 3 times 10,000. I would multiply by 3 on both sides. So you'll be left with 1800 equals 10,000x. Divide both sides by 10,000. And what I realize is that any problem that you'll get on the star test, you won't have to divide like this. You'll get easier numbers. But if you plug this out, you'll get that x equals 0 0.18 grams. So if you feel confident with PPM, go ahead, log into Exit Ticket on your iPod or Chromebook and answer the practice questions and then the Exit Ticket related to Learning Target 5.6 parts per million.